In this video, we will continue with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 82 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Next, let us look at the coefficients of the terms in the expansion of x plus y to the power of 5 below. Okay, this is what we get. Can you remember? 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 from Pascal's triangle. And then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 5. The coefficients of the terms can be expressed in terms of fact factorials, for example, because it is very difficult later on to work with um, the Pascal's triangle. I just want to see if I move it up a little bit. Yes. So basically, I can just do it like this. Let's just mark it. Uh, it's 5 factorial and then 0, 5 minus 0. So the, for the first term, this will be this. For the second term, it will be 5, 1. So you see that 5 repeats and that 1 repeats. There's the 5 and there's the 2. So for the next one, if I must write it down, it will look like this. It will be 5 and then it will be 3 factorial and 5 minus 3 factorial okay and if you press it on the calculator you can just press it like this okay I'm going to press this one now you can say 5 factorial divide bracket 3 factorial remember shift and then x1 multiply 2 factorial close the bracket equals and that will be equal to 10 okay okay let's move on and and uh, can I just go back and then for the last one then you will uh, put 4 and then you will put 5 okay so that one will give you 5 and the other one will then give you 1 so you can use that factorials to work out the coefficients if you are not making use of Pascal's triangle okay now in general we have n over r is then it's n factorial r then n minus r factorial now I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. I want to show you something. I want to show you how I'm going to change it also. So, where r is an integer and it can be 0 or it can be up to n, up to that value, starting from 0 up to the value of n. Now, I said note that r indicates the position of the term. I think it's better that I use relates. Um, if I'm going to reprint the book, I will rather say note that R relates to the position of the term. Because I'll show you in the next page that the term, because we start with 0, it's actually R plus 1. That will indicate the position, but it relates to that. Okay, so thus, this is this, this is the first, the second, and this is why I say R. This, this R, but R plus 1, so that will be the first. 1 plus 1, the second. 2 plus 1, the um the third term, and so on. Okay, um, let's do a few practical. Uh, can I just show you another thing quickly? So I can write it out like this, okay? Or, okay, this is the long way, but the short way is I use NCR, and I'll tell you now where to find this on the calculator. That is very fast. That one takes a little bit of time if you have to work it out like that. But let's, let's look at a few examples, and then you will understand it better. I'm going to move it up. Okay, I'll move it now up again. So find the value of each of the following. 7, 3. So you can write it out 7 factorial, 3 factorial, 7 minus 3. And then you can you can um, write it out and you can write both out and you can cancel and you can get 35. Look at the short way. You find this NCR on, your, on my calculator. I find it next to... I'm basically, I have the second function there, or the shift. And then on top of this button, this is why I was pressing the shift, was the x factorial. But then on this button, on my calculator, then I find n c r. And this is beautiful, this key. So basically, you just press 7. Then it's on, so you don't press shift because it's not on top, it's on the button. You press NCR and then 3 and then equals. 
and check it on your calculator out. It's 7 NCR 3 and that's 35. And you get it directly. Okay, and that's very nice. Let's calculate this to evaluate this. So 11, 11, the, again, it's 1. So, but if you have to, 11 minus 1. And remember that 0 factorial is 1. Okay, it's actually not to give you division by. So that by a 0. So when R is N, the definition in R will involve 0. Do you agree? That's 0. If, if that value is all the same. This is one reason why I have to define 0 factorial as 1. In general, N, N is 1. Okay. And then, okay, that was B, so that just became 1. And then N, if you look at this one. Now, in this one, I cannot just use the, the NCR because there's not the value. So keep it like that. Then say 3 and N minus 3. Then this is going to be N, N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3. This is going to be 3, 2, 1, N minus 3. That cancel. Wow. And then... I'm ending up with that is 6, and that is my final answer. And it's just preparing you for something else, so we, which I will show you in later videos. So that's why I'm going to give you that one also. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A. Um, I think it's good if you do C, because we did that 10, 10, and then D. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. So in this one, it's just 8, 5. Now, the long way is to say it's 8 factorial, <clears throat> then it's 5 factorial, and then 8 minus 5 factorial. That's the long way. So it's actually 8 factorial over 5 factorial, 3 factorial. And that will give you 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times, I'm doing the long way now, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, and this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, okay, and that is 3 times 2 times 1, okay. And if I cancel it out, I can just do it. It's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I'm ending up with this and this. So I'm, I'm really doing the long way now. It's not necessary. I'll show you now. But it helps you if you work in terms of N. And if you work out that, you get 56. But if you press on your calculator, if you press 8 and then that N CR button and then you press the 5 and then equals. Let's just test it on my calculator. So 8 N C 5 equals. You directly get that 56. So remember it for the exams. Okay. Then number C. Let's look at number C. And this will be 15 and 0, okay? And then this will just be equal to, fifth, oh, let's just get the pen correct, 15 factorial, 0 factorial, 15 minus 0 factorial. And that's 15 factorial, 0 factorial, 15 factorial. And then it's actually exactly 15, 15, which will then just result into 1. And then don't forget, on your calculator, I said, you just press, this is on your calculator. You're just going to press 15, and then you're going to press that NCR button. And then you press 0 and equals. So you're just going to press 15. Uh, let's just NCR 
zero equals and that is going to give you an answer of also one okay now this one and this is the why I know the long method so that it helps me with D so if I'm looking at number D so it's in five so basically if I'm going to write this one out it's going to be n factorial don't forget 5 over 5 factorial n minus 5 factorial so this is going to be n multiply n minus 1 multiply n minus 2 just want to move it a little bit multiply n minus 3 multiply n minus 4 multiply n minus 5 okay i'm writing it just to help me with this bottom okay over and now 5, so that's going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiply, and this, and this is the reason why I wrote it up to that one, n minus 5. Okay, so basically, I'm, this one is just going to cancel with this one. And then, I'm going to end up with... Mm, sorry, let's just get my pen. N multiply N minus 1, multiply N minus 2, multiply N minus 3, multiply N minus 4. And then if I press this on my calculator, 120. And, oh, that is N minus 4. And that will be in terms of N.